Hello everybody, it's Andrea. I do apologise for the lack of videos, as you know I've not been well. I'm still not well, I've got a chest infection, but I am here to do my colouring haul for October. Now, I've been pretty good. Um, I didn't buy many supplies, only two supply items. There are six Ava Brown books that I got uh, from the Launch Club, which I've got a launch team, which I've got to go through and start colouring and leaving reviews on. I might do that tomorrow. And a few other colouring books that I purchased throughout the month, including my Colouring Heaven subscription, which of course is paid for by my partner Paul. He buys it for me for Christmas and birthday, so I get a present from her every month. It's lovely. Do excuse me, my voice is very croaky. I've got a, a Pepsi Max and I'm just taking little sips. So, like I said, I didn't buy many supplies. I did buy a set of the, I'll just zoom in, it's 10 Scriblicious, is it 10? Gel, glitter gel pens. I do have the set of 12 which came in the 60 set, but I am a sucker for gel pens. I love them. And they're only two, they're only two pounds, so I'll probably leave them in this package and then just pop them in my bag if I'm going anywhere with one of my uh, smaller colouring books, like um, the Jade Summer Mini Mandalas, which I sort of keep in my bag in case I'm going to my mum's or I've got to take my dad somewhere and I have to wait for him because um, he hasn't got a car at the moment and such and such so I'll just leave them like that and then I'll probably just uh, pop them in and they were from the works and then uh, this month Lidl's had a set of pencils in the the Crilando brand which is the brand that Lidl's always has they've got the brush markers in next week. I haven't coloured a full picture with them yet. I have been working on one. They're very nice soft pencils. Um, so there's a good range of colours. There's no skin tone. Not really. That's a bit too bright. As you can see how dark that is compared to the... That's the end and that's the nib or the tip. But um, they're still a nice little set of pencils for, for doing various things. They're very nice. So they are hexagonal. As you can see, now no colour numbers and no names. I have swatched them just so I can see what the colour is and they're just in this order. Uh, when I get uh, a big case for the Black Widows, which are supposed to be out any time, I haven't seen them yet, they were supposed to be out at the end of the month and they haven't come out as far as I'm away, I will, need, uh, I will get a bigger case and then the Black Widows case will be for uh, short, smaller sets, like for instance I've got uh, the Erodotons, uh, I've got the Faber-Castell, Gold Faber, but only a small set and, and things like that. So they'll probably go into a case then. But yeah, they're, they're nice. Look out for the picture. I, I will try and finish it for the end of this month. It is one from the Halloween book for the current one, but I do want to finish it. So that's all the supplies. Like I said, hardly anything this month. Um, On to the Ava Brown books. Like I said, I got six books from Ava Brown this month, which is kind of crazy because one of them is very big, and you'll see why. So, and it's the only one that doesn't have a cover page. So this is a Rustic Autumn Scenes. So this is one of their more detailed ones. I love that one with the uh, little squirrel. Got some corn there and a barn. They, they are actually quite nice. I haven't coloured in it yet. I like this style, the big style. Um, it's a Halloween one because I get so many books. So this November, I'm not on a no buy, I'm never going to say that, for instance, because the Christmas books are coming out, Jade Summer has released one which I've already ordered, I've got a pre-order on, I'm expecting to come this month, of course I'll get my Colour in Heaven ones as well. So I'm not on a, a no buy as such, but I am cutting back. I might get a, a voucher from work, um, either this month or next month, I might get my AdSense money, but I'm going to try and, and put that to one side. And get stuff. I, some of the stuff that I want. So there's some books I want to read, um, and so on. So I'll find somewhere to put this now. Oops. I'll just move those out the way, and I can pop those under my desk until I can put them in my folder. Uh, so the next one. Let me just get that one out. Is that was um, frightfully cute, which is a book of chibi witches. So this came out for Halloween. I've done one in here, you'll see it in my complete pages. It's not actually in here at the moment. So I take them out. So obviously if you bought the book, you'd get two copies. I've only printed out one copy. But they are really, really cute. Little chibi witches. 
or you know scientists I oh, like so cute that one um, so I want to colour more in this this month if I can as well as uh, uh, some of the uh, ones that are coming out this month because they are now onto their winter and Christmas ones and I know they've got really, uh, another five that are scheduled to come out soon which I'm really excited about one of them is a chibi Christmas one so that one's frightfully cute now this is what I really like this is the stuff I like at the moment so I will be colouring that again this month They did release, God, it's so heavy, a very big book this month and it's Greatest Hits Volume 1. So this is 100 pages, 100 of the favourite pages from the past year, so their first year in operation. So as you can see this is really big. Most of them, but not all of them, do say what book they have come from. So this one says it's from Tattoos spring animals now I've got all these books or most of these books secret garden again that one's from secret garden I like those ones there so I don't mind having them again mermaids I mean the ones I have got I might just give to Jennifer to color because she does love to color so she can have those gods and goddesses I don't have gods and goddesses so that's a, a good one to have that's from Gnoming Around the World. Again, I've got that one, so I'll probably put that to one side for Jennifer at some point. Flowers 2. Cute Ocean Life. I've got that one, but I like that one. Cosplay Cats. Of course, I have got that one, so Jennifer can have that one as well. Oops. Christmas Patterns. That's one I haven't got yet, but I probably will get. It's one of the books that's pre the launch team. Chibi Animals, now I've got it in grayscale, but I haven't got it in line art, so that's pretty cool. I love that one, that's Chibi Animals as well. And we've got another one from Beautiful Flowers, that's quite a nice one actually. Beach, beachfront Homes, and, and so on. So it's a hundred of their favourite pictures from the last year, that's a really cute one, that's from the anime one. So that's Greatest Hits of Volume 1. All of these are available on Amazon. I don't leave links. Obviously, if you do buy a physical copy, you can get a download as well. Which is cool. Uh, they also released uh, Floral Arrangements, which is this one. Flowers aren't my big thing, but I do quite like this. It's very simple. That's a, like a lily, so that's not too bad. So they're just bunches of flowers really so it's going to be just a quick colour with some markers I think in those that's quite a nice one my neighbours have got wreaths like that on their doors Deb's got one uh, an autumn one up at the moment it's really pretty so it's just a nice simple colouring picture to do just uh, you know some of them are in vases some of them are in bouquets so that's Ava Brown's floral arrangements I got a lot of filing to do this month. I've not long finished last month because because I got sick. I haven't bothered doing it. So two more Ava Brown. This is one I really want to colour in this month, and that is Easy Stained Glass. I love this sort of pattern, and I've got an idea for this. Is I'm going to do the middle bit in brights, this background bit in pastels using the Ohuhu pastels, and then possibly these bits in brights as well. So. I've got an idea of how I want to colour the book, which is really nice because sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. I mean, so for instance, that pattern would be bright, the background bit's pastel, and then the edges probably bright as well. Same with the butterfly. Gives it a nice frame. I just think they're really nice. Again, Jade Summer's done similar. I'm not complaining. I like any colouring book I can get my hands on. You know me, I am a big colour person. I love my colouring. At the end of the year I will be counting how many books I have and I'm a bit scared, I'm not going to lie. <coughs> right, I need another quick drink before we move on to the last. <coughs> Excuse me, of the Ava Brown. And no, it's not the C word, I've done tests and they've all come back negative. It is just what they are, doctors in, in, in England and Wales are terming as super cold. Cold bits pretty much passed. But I have got chest infection, so I'm on antibiotics and steroids because of my asthma. <coughs> Secret Village Winter. I love this book. I can't wait to colour in that again this month and next month. Jennifer's already done a page out of this because I printed one off for her, and it's the very—it's actually this cover picture. 
So again, it's their village with a little mice. You've got a sled and a Christmas tree. I love this kind of stuff. Like I said, I'm not showing you more. If you do want to flip through with any of these, just let me know and I'll happily pull the, the folders out and, and show you. It's not a problem. So cosy. I love it. Look at that. The snow. Oh, and the penguins. I love penguins. And there's this one. I'm, yeah, I'm going to do a few in this. And the thing with snow is you don't have to colour it a lot. You just need to put a little bit of grey and a little bit of blue and pay very pale colours. That's the colour. I really want to do the one as well. So, so those are the Ava Brown books I received in October. I'm looking forward to see what's coming out next. I'll be leaving reviews for all of those on Amazon soon so that they, um, oh, you know, so I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. And when I do colour one, I do pop it on Instagram and into their group and so on. Um, excuse me. Okay, on to the other books I bought. I did get uh, a couple of Satch and Satch Diva books. I've got Halloween, 50 Halloween Mandalas. As you can see, I've done one in this. You'll be seeing that one. What I like about these books is the colour palette is the same for all the books. So once you worked it out, you don't have to worry about it again. I think I did two in this one, actually. I will be doing more, even though it's not Halloween, because I like them. So there's that one. I need that one because I've coloured in it. That's, not, oh, that's a different picture. I also put one of their older ones. This is a smaller one. As you can see, it's a bit of paper in it, because I was actually colouring in this on the 1st of November. And this is coloured by number Christmas Mandalas. Again, there's some of his books on the back and his colour palette. But with this one, it only shows you the colours you actually need. So 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, and so on. So it doesn't put the whole list, which I really like. And they're nice and simple. So this is a book I'm going to really hammer this month and next month, I think, because I just like, especially at the moment when I'm not feeling very well, I like to curl up in bed, lie on my side, I've got my pens on the floor, and I can just colour it. And that is what I will be doing with this one. I will just be, every now and again, it's going to sit next to my bed for the month and I'm going to colour whatever I want in it. I like that one. Now, I'm not, as you know, I'm not huge on colour by numbers, but I do like the, some of the certain ones. Now, uh, colour in heaven now. So we've got the newest one, which is the Christmas special. There is a flip through. Sorry, I'm shaking now. For all this, 40 designs from Michael Jelena, Hannah Lynn, Fabrique Fancy, Zoe Sadler. Uh, Lenka Florenko and more so there is a full flip through of this on the channel some people like it I personally like it some people aren't as keen um penguins are so cute I love that one uh, that's one I'm definitely going to do I can see that I'm going to do that in pencils and there's going to be a lot of very pale blue it's probably going to be a prismacolor picture I think there's going to be a lot of uh, glitter on there stickles or um Sakura jelly rolls and such I love that picture but they are I mean and this one is just really cute and that's just a nice simple portrait that you can do so yeah it's Hannah Lynn obviously I've got the Hannah Lynn uh Christmas book and the um Women's he goes around uh, through the through the holidays or whatever it is and other festive occasions <coughs> so that's that one. So that one will be staying out because I will be colouring in that one this month. Now I have also bought, and I know there's flip throughs of two of them on here, but not the other two. The four colouring heaven juniors. Because I think they're cute. So the first one they put out was Unicorn Tea Party. If I remember rightly, this is Selena Fennec and it's like Fedorables. The Fed from the Fedorables book. Oh god, I can't even open it up. What are you doing? What is wrong with your here it is. Yes, here we go. Selena Fennec, who, as you know, I'm a big Fennec fan. So these are just nice and simple ones. The kittens in the teacup, a little fairies, you know, just so simple to do. Little dragons in a hot bath, that's so cute. So yeah, I'll probably colour in that at some point. Just don't know when, because obviously we are moving on to Christmas and stuff. I'll find somewhere to put these flipping books now. I'll put them on top of them. Then the second one they put out was Cute Baby Animals. Um, if you want to flip through of these two, let me know. And I will film them. 
look at, I mean how adorable is that? So this is Lee Calendal and I just think these are so cute, look at that. These are just so adorable. So this is, yeah. So because I am a Karen Heaven subscriber I get 10% of any order I put of any of their books whether it's these or the, the collections or the compendiums anything I can order from Karen Heaven I get 10% off of so I, I do it every now and again and then obviously Fairies and Friends there's a flip through this on this is Molly Harrison I believe yes it is again I love these ones little ones I love that I think that is just so cute they're really cutesy and again I, do, I love the one in the teacup that one I might do fairly soon actually I sleep in the little flower, the little tea rose. Yeah, so that's fairies and friends. And then of course the last one was Little Witches Halloween, which is Yana Prosperina. I haven't coloured in this one. Uh, because I've been so ill, I haven't coloured as much as I was hoping to. I still coloured, I think it was 23 pictures, but uh, it's not as many as I was hoping to do because I was hoping to get through this book, some of these books um, with these, I mean look at that, it's so adorable and that one with the cat but I just, oh boy and the pumpkin, I just did not have the time um, being so ill I just hardly felt like colouring when it hit me really hard which was last week and um, part of the week before I just stopped, I had a few days off I did a few patterns and that's it but you'll see that later so I did buy myself an older Deborah Muller one, I think it is. Um, yeah, this is an older one. I don't know when it's from. Um, but it is one of her Halloween books. So as you can see, I was planning to do all this. This book belongs to... Um, if you want to flip through, I will do one. It's just all Halloween stuff. Really cute. Yeah, the usual. Deborah Muller. We love her. Um, I wanted to colour it in, in Gothic Fairies. I haven't done that. I should have put those books away. They're still out. Um, so yeah, bought that one. So books. I did buy a few books, but I cut back on the supplies, which is good. Because the books are like four ninety nine, five ninety nine, maybe seven ninety nine, but the supplies can be anything up to like thirty or forty pounds. So obviously the two I got were really cheap. I think it was four ninety nine and two pounds. So it was really good. Um, Next is Chibi Princesses by Demita Victoria. I love them on here. I don't know who half of these princesses are. I'm not very good. Um, I'm assuming that must be like a Rapunzel because of the long hair, but I don't know. That's the second set. I'm going to say that Tinkerbell, potentially. I say, I have no idea. Snow White, I would say, as there's seven tools in it. And that's going to be Meridia from Brave. But I don't... Pocahontas maybe or Moana one of those two uh that's Alice I'm gonna say that's gonna be Ariel looking at her outfit um Jasmine I don't know a lot of them I've got to be honest I haven't watched a Disney film in years I have no idea but she is holding a tambourine Cinderella maybe because the coach no idea. Still no idea. And still no idea if you know who these princesses are. Can you put me a list if you've got this book? Because I have absolutely no idea who they are. Some of them I do. And some of them I don't. <laughs> um, that's definitely Jasmine. It's got to be. Um, uh, but I really like them. I think they're really, really, really cute. So it's a really sweet book. So I will colour in it when I can figure out who they all are. I finally jumped on the Circle of Life bandwagon. I didn't have this, but I do now. I got it from the works. Uh, it was £5 on the works. So you've all seen this, but I will do a flip through if you so wish. It is double-sided. Double and look how detailed, I didn't realise how detailed it is, because I've only seen, oh, that's beautiful, a few pictures. Um, oh, the pyramids. Did I see the pyramids? Did I see a pyramid there? Nice. I like that. That's my kind of thing. I like pyramids. Um, I love anything to do with Egypt but yeah 
I thought I would, oh, that's nice. I'm never really good at this Zen Doodly stuff, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get it. There's some really nice stuff in it, and I'd like, that's all right. A big double page though. But I'll give it a go. What have I got to lose? It's a fiver. You know, one of these, you know, like that. It's just done, you don't have to do it all. I like that, you know. It's really nice, it's a really nice book. I did buy a book, it's a bit silly. This is a bit silly, this book, but we're both huge fans of the Beatles. And in the works, they had this Beatles colouring book. It's not the best colouring book, I'll admit that. It's not, very, not a brilliant one. But, it's just got the Beatles in it. It's double-sided, so it's gonna be pencils or maybe water, water brush markers. <coughs> you could colour in Sergeant Pepper's cover, how awesome. I'm a walrus. Paul? Uh, Paul could colour in this as well because he loves Beatles. <laughs> so yeah, that was quite a fun book. So I thought oh, I'll pick it up. It's only three quid. It was three quid from the work. So again, if you want to flip through, I will do one. Just let me know. Finally, after um, it being delayed and delayed and delayed for some reason, even though I ordered it as soon as it was announced and was up on Amazon, I finally got Tales from the Forest Kingdom. Now apparently Witch's Cottage will be out in next spring, um, Hannah has said. Uh, she said that to, um, on her Facebook today, or her Instagram, one of the two. So yeah, I really like this. I've had a quick look and I, I know what pages I want to do already, what one I'm going to start with. And... Oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. Look, it's like Robin Hood. I love this. I think that's the one I'm going to do first, fairy dust. And you've got the fairy over there. So it's like a two-page spread, really, but it's also not. That house is beautiful. So this is a really nice book, as are all of Hannah's books. And I think it's just beautiful. And this is one I've seen done a few times. But I will be hopefully colouring in that soon. Now we've got only got three more left. So I've got a book here. There's one missing. It must be in my pile of completed pages. I'm sure it was this month I bought it. I'll just check uh, before I sign off. It is Halloween for Kids. And this is one. I bought this for Jennifer. Now this one, I will admit, is clip art. Although it doesn't look like it. All the styles are very different. And, and I know it's clip art. Um, because there's Mickey Mouse's in it. Yeah. There's... Um, the Vampire from Sesame Street. Um, pretty sure that is a well-known artist. But Jennifer wanted something to colour that was Halloween. And look, I mean, that's Sesame Street in there. What's his name? Is it Oscar the Grouch or something? The guy that lives in the trash can? But there's one picture, possibly two. I think that might be one of them as well. Or that one. But there's definitely one, if I can find it. Let me have a look, I think it's a bit further back. That I know was pulled off of the internet. Because I started colouring it. Not in here. Oh, where is it? Is it that one? I'm going to look very quickly. Like I said, me and Jennifer have been colouring her. She's done, she's done quite a lot actually, including the page I've done, which I'll show you later. I'm sure there's another book as well. Because we did it together. We did it at the same day, sorry. That looks like a Deborah Muller one. Oh, dear me. I know it's got back to that. Typical that you can't find it when you want it, the one I know. I've seen online. It's this one. This is on the Crayola website for free. And I know that because I started colouring it because I started doing this. It's slightly different, but it's the same picture. Pretty much. The bite out of the chocolate, there was a bit more, there's a bigger bite, I think. A bigger chunk of the chocolate showing. Um, but it's definitely that one. Uh, yes, that's annoying, but it was only three quid. I bought one for Jen and... and then I got this one from Tesco. It's just a pattern one. 
and it's the sort of thing I do while I'm in bed, just colour it in with some gel pens, either glitter ones or things. Oh, look, the joy of giving. I like these sort of posts, nails. Like that, it's just something I'll do with some gel pens every now and again. I like these pattern books, that's a nice one. I don't think there's an artist on it, it's just, they come out every month, or every couple of months. Um, yeah, they're seasonal ones. I pick them up every now and again, but they, that's, that was from Tesco. I've got another Ava Brown book, but this is one I bought, and this is Enchanted Forest. I wanted to do, there's one in here I really want to do, which is one of the unicorn. And again, I was hoping to do some mysterious uh, forests for uh, Halloween, but it didn't happen. But yeah, I mean, they're like, you know, there is one really nice one somewhere of a unicorn. That one I want to do. Oh, shiny. So, yeah. And so that's uh, uh, Enchanted, sorry, guys, Enchanted Forest from Ava Brown. I think there's another one. The battery's about to run out, so I'm going to go and check, and I'll see you in. Okay, I knew there was another one. Let me just zoom out a bit. Oh, it's a cross bit. Right. I'm absolutely exhausted. Right. And the last one was, which was an early one, uh, Kawaii Witch. Um, I've got two copies of this because I started to colour in it and I wasn't feeling very well. This is when I was starting to feel really poorly. I think this is on the wrong setting. I'll sort it in a minute. Um, and Jennifer coloured in it when I was in bed asleep. So that's better. Yeah, so it was Kawaii Witch. So I gave her that copy and just ordered another copy for myself. Um, and this one, although the person's name is on the cover, is in here on the back of the first page. Oh, I thought it was. Yes, it is. Um, and it is by Larisa May Mar Marianas. And it's just like little kawaii chibi witches. I have done one in here, so you will be seeing that in my completed pages. But that is everything I bought in the month. I'm exhausted. Of October in 2021. I don't know how many books it is, I haven't counted. Uh, quite a few, but not as many as I have done in the past. So <coughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to put all this away, have a rest for five minutes, and then I'm going to film my completed pages for October. So I will see you in the next video very, very, very soon. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see flip throughs or anything, let me know down below. See you soon. Bye.